It has been a rainy, little stormy start to the day out here in Oklahoma, but it's much needed rain. Um, we go from too much rain to no rain to just enough rain, um, but God has provided some rain for the farm, and that is a good thing. We're going to walk out here. We're going to check on Steve because he's kind of been hanging out by himself in this lot over here. Uh, so I'm going to go see what's going on with him. Um, but then I'm going to talk to you guys about something that's kind of got me a little irritated. Um, I'm kind of annoyed about this, and I want to give a fair warning to anyone who may be starting a homestead, starting a little farm, anything that has animals that you have to buy feed. I'm going to warn you about something. Let's check on Steve. Steve actually just got up. What's up, Steve? What you doing, bud? Uh-oh. That explains it. How did you do that, Steve? Uh -uh. Oh, poor Steve. You right, buddy? There you go. I bet that feels a lot better. You can see it was cutting the circulation off on his on his foot. Let's see. Steve's probably going to be sore on his foot for a few days, his little hoof. Um, we got this uh, this hot wire had came off the fence and he had got it wrapped around his little hoof. Yesterday he was just running around over here. Uh, then this morning we had that storm and I just noticed him laying over here. I was like, this just isn't normal for him. He's usually always over there with the ewes. Um, so I was like, I better come check on him. And uh, good thing I did because he was hung up good. Man, Steve, you're going to be just fine, buddy. I guarantee you that hurt. It was tied up around his foot. Hoof. Bad. Man, that's crazy. That's the first time that's happened. So now, after this video, I'm going to walk around and make sure there's no other wire, um, hot wire just laying around. I don't know how it came off, but it did. I 
Oh man, uh, that's one of the things, the homestead life, whatever you might say, is um, you gotta check on your animals. Uh, sometimes, whenever you're in a hurry and you see an animal that maybe just not acting right, and you can, well, I'll check on it later, you come back and the animal's dead, you need to make time to go check on the animal. As soon as you think something's wrong, something ain't going right, go check on them because just like Steve, uh, there's just something ain't right about it, I'm gonna go check on them. All right, so for my little rant now, after we got Steve taken care of, he's gonna be just fine. Um, I wanna show you something real quick. To all, hold on a second. I made a mistake. Uh, we are fixing to go out of town for a few days and I let my feed supply get down. I still have some feed on hand, but I like to have extra feed just in case they want to eat a little bit more or something. I don't want to run out while I'm gone. So I made the mistake by going to Tractor Supply to buy some feed and I hate going there. I know for a lot of people it's your only option, a place like that. Now here's my warning to anyone that's new. Got a spider web on me. Anyone who's new to raising animals and you're looking for cheap feed, tractor supply is not it. I just spent $35 on a bag of pig feed and some quail starter, or actually it's chicken, they didn't have quail starter or anything like that. Man, that spider web. <sighs> Steve stinks. Uh, but they didn't have any uh, quail feed I needed, but they had a high protein chick starter, 24%, I think, or 24%. I've been feeding my quail 26%. Um, quail starter and I, just, I leave them on that quail need high protein so they can keep producing eggs well here's my warning to any of y'all that are new to this do not at all possible unless you're a little pinch like i was don't be at your feed from them box stores you need to find a local meal um, that produces their own feed like i have a, a meal called stillwater milling about 20 miles from the house that's where i 95 percent time i swear i buy my feed a bag of pig feed there seven dollars fifty cents for um, a pound or for 50 pounds this cost me over $14 um, the starter right there um, at, at track uh, um, still water milling is like nine fifty um, ten dollars it was seven, almost seventeen dollars so with tax and everything it was like 35 bucks I'm um, not could have got oh three bags of uh, pig feed would have been twenty eight dollars there I mean you see what I'm saying so if you can if you're new please please try to find a place that you can get some cheaper feed and doesn't necessarily mean the feed itself is any good it just means they produce a lot on hand um, so they can sell it for cheaper and i promise you tractor supply and places like that are making a killing um selling this stuff because if if still our mill is selling a bag of feed for 750 and it's good stuff and they're making profit and tractor supply is selling it for 14 dollars and it's not near as good as that can you just imagine i mean it's crazy um we got to check on these quail feed them then i'm gonna get off here Gabby. So we had a few cooler days. Gabby, come on, Gabs. I think Gabby found that rabbit, but I don't have time to go mess with it right now. I'll have my brother see if he can catch it later. Come on, Gabs. Come on, Gabs. Gabby is getting huge. There's an egg. Gabby loves eggs. Absolutely loves eggs. The weather has cooled down just quite just a little bit the last couple days, and the egg production has picked back up on the quail. So that's a good thing. So my warning to all you new homesteaders and hobby farmers, farmers. Go find a cheaper place for feed. Don't waste your money at these places that are just gouging you. They know you got to have the feed and there's nowhere else to get it. So they jack their prices up. I can't stand it. It irritates me, especially when you're used to getting it for a lot cheaper in other places. Uh, I, I, I probably could have made it, but I just didn't want a chance. I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to spend the extra 15 bucks on feed, um, which isn't a lot, but it adds up over time and over time. Um, that's a lot in a year's time. So do not go to those places if you don't have to all right guys i'm gonna get off here just a short quick video um we're gonna be traveling out of town um so i just want to let you guys know if the video uh, video 
uh, output has went down a little bit is because we're not in town. I didn't have any videos lined up. I wanted to throw this one up um, just so I could have a filler video for you all, let you know what kind of what's going on. And I'm glad I took it out there to show you all, Steve. Very important. Check on your animals daily, um, um, several times a day if, if possible. Um, but he's doing a lot better. I can see him walking around now. And uh, that was close. That stuff was tight too. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. If you liked this video, smash that like button for me if you would. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And Steve's going to be just fine. Catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.